Hello everyone, this is a tutorial in using the Unwarp plugin for Photoshop. Uh, the Unwarp plugin will show up in your plugins menu, the plugins toolbar if you have that enabled, and your plugins panel. All you have to do is just press Unwarp, and this panel will show up. You can resize this panel as you see fit, and let's move this preview window over here. Uh, the way the plugin works is you start by loading a grid, and it will load this grid for you, and you have to match the image curvature using this grid. You can customize the number of grid rows and grid columns, and you have the choice between bilinear interpolation, which is faster, and bicubic interpolation, which is smoother, but takes a little bit longer for larger images. This image is, isn't large, so we can go ahead with bicubic and get smoother results. Now, for images which have their curvature identical at all levels, like this one, we don't need so many rows. In fact, let's just go with one row, which will give us a single cell. And we can increase the column numbers a little bit because we have more complex curvature along the edge. Now let's start positioning the grid handles, like so. And what you need to be careful about is that areas with more curvature need to have their handles closer together, such as the edges of this mug over here while areas with less curvature can have their handles or should have their handles more widely spaced, such as this middle region here. And make sure that the vertical lines are, in fact, vertical or aligned with the vertical axis of your image, like so. Okay, I think this looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and press straighten and see what we have. And there you have it. Let's go to another example, a slightly more complex example. This is a page from a book. And like you can see here, the warp isn't the same at all the levels. So at the top here, it warps upward. In the middle part, it's more or less straight. And then at the bottom down here, it warps downwards. So that here we're going to need a little bit more rows. Let's go, for example, with five rows. And we'll stay at four columns. Let's change this to bilinear because this is a, a larger image. And for some reason, bilinear tends to do, give better results with text. Well, not always. You should always experiment with both. When you switch between interpolation methods, that doesn't reset your grid, so you can easily tr switch between one or the other and, and see which one gives you the better results. Okay, now let's start placing these handles along the curvature at each level. And the presence of text lines here makes it easier to determine or align the curvature to the page. Let's speed up this part a little bit. I'm making an intentional error here so that I can show you a little tip. Okay, let's have a try. And you, you can immediately see the error that I told you about. We have a little bit of warping up here. And that's because we have this really long cell I mean, in the vertical direction, while this one is a little bit compressed. So this gets stretched out and this gets compressed. So what we need to do is we ensure we have even spacing in all of these rows. So what we need to do here is bring this down a line or two to make sure these rows have the same vertical size, approximately. And let's press straighten again, and now it's fixed. There you have it. Enjoy using Unwarped.